We begin with the Department of Public Safety cracking down on illegal drugs being smuggled into our prisons. Officials say they unraveled a drug smuggling scheme making multiple arrests today. Christy Tomashiro has details. The Department of Public Safety is calling it Operation Paper Shredder. That resulted in five arrests involving uh, several cases of persons attempting to smuggle contraband into our facilities. DPS believes inmates have influenced their family and friends to smuggle illegal drugs into its correctional facilities. DPS only named the Halava Correctional Facility as one of the locations and says one case involved methamphetamine. Two of the cases involved smuggling drug paper, drug paper uh, laden with illegal drugs. Drug paper is paper manufactured with controlled substances soaked into the, on top of the paper or on the surface. It adds the schemes are dangerous not only for the inmates, but staff too. You don't know how strong the drug is, similar to, to lacing drug with fentanyl. You don't know what you're getting, so you can take a little bit of it and it could kill you. The Department of Public Safety says it already has PPE for its mail screening crews, but it's looking for more drug detection equipment to investigate similar cases. There is a huge cost to it. We, we have set aside some federal money from ARPA funds to explore the possibility for the drug detection machines first, because uh, that is the best option. Public safety officials say the work isn't done. There are multiple investigations ongoing. It has a stern warning for others out there looking to break the law. We will come for you. We will find you. We will arrest you and we will prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law, whether you're a citizen, an inmate, or a staff member of the department. DPS expects additional arrests to be made. Christy Tomashiro, K2N2 News, working for Hawaii.